The object reveal template is this cute little animation of this heart popping out from the ground. Now let's see how it works. We have a lot of things here, but at its core we have the heart, the cap, which is this ground plane, and then this hole underneath. And we have a manipulator ring, but we can just delete that because that's kind of in every scene and we understand what that does now. So let's start by looking at this heart. This is the heart mesh and this delete me here is actually just the heart model. So I'm going to rename that to heart. And then this drag here block is actually a looping animation block. So I'm going to rename that as well. Just so it's easy to understand what's going on. And then object reveal is an object reveal block as well. And there's some parameters here. But we're not going to look at these too much. Because basically this heart just pops up from the ground. And that's easy enough to do with an animation patch or using this looping animation. There's a number of ways to do that, so we won't get into that. And then this hole down here is basically just a cylinder with the top open. So you can see inside of it, there's this edge there. And again, that's not too complicated, so I think you kind of understand what's going on there. The real trick is this cap here. And this is similar to the occlusion that was used in the sunglasses template and just in occlusion in general. So what's going on here? Right away, we can see two things happening. Out here on this plane itself, there's a video plane, which is this yard here. And as we move this camera around, this is kind of stuck in place. So that's one part of it. And then the other part is this hole here. So if we dive into the material, we can see it's set to alpha with the opacity at 100. So let's take a look at what's inside of this texture here. This cap mat here is where the texture is coming from. And this is mixed from two things. The color information, it looks like, is being passed from the camera texture through this texture UV projection patch. So what happens if we skip this patch and go straight in? Now you can see the video is projected across the whole plane. But of course that's wrong because you can see the flat plane is here. So this is all smushed up. When you're looking at it from an angle, it doesn't work out. So this texture UV projection is essentially projecting the camera texture from the camera, which is grabbing the UV coordinates of that, and then is applying it to this. So that's why it slides around like this. And then the hole comes from this alpha. And if we go back here, there's a lot of stuff going on but the key here is this SDF circle. You can see if we move around the center of it, that hole scoots around because this is what's generating this alpha channel here. We can visualize this better if we skip this step patch and then turn off alpha test really quick. And you can see there's this really soft circular alpha here. So what the step does is it removes any of the gradation and just goes from a solid white to a solid black. And if you change the steps, it'll kind of increase where that takes place. And that's kind of the, the key of all of this. A lot of these other nodes just add to the animation or link up a lot of the parameters of, you know, the speed and everything or the travel distance, all these other parameters. But the main thing you need to understand is this plane is occluding the hole and the heart when the heart is underneath. 